that uh, conversation. We'd love to sample some of them. Let's now get you back to our stories of the day. Players in the hospitality sector are slowly adapting to revised COVID-19 protocols issued by the Ministry of Tourism and Wildlife to curb the spread of the disease. Brenda Kerubo speaks to Simon Hodson, the general manager of the EB Styles, on implementing the safety measures. EB Styles is located in Westlands, Nairobi, and Simon Hodson is the new general manager. He has over two decades of experience in the hospitality industry. His work has seen him traverse the globe working in various destinations such as the United Kingdom, South Africa and Rwanda. Thank you so much and welcome to Captains of Industry. It's a pleasure to have you. Thank you. Thank you for the invite. How is the hotel industry adapting to this ever-changing environment of the pandemic? What we're having to do is, is look for new ways and opportunities. Um, for instance, in, in, in our context, we have been very, very popular with uh, the local market. It has been a real success factor for us. Um, we have implemented initiatives such as the staycation package which have really resonated with our target audience and have been really fantastic and well received. Now we are having protocols in place but then they keep on being revised and they are being tightened. What effect is it having on your business as much as you have to adhere to them? Well, the first thing to say is that uh, we take the safety of our guests and our staff uh, as utmost importance. Um, we, we actually abide by all the Ministry of Health uh, guidelines and protocols, uh, but on top of that, uh, we have something called All Safe. All Safe is an initiative that we subscribe to, um, which ensures that we have got very, very rigorous uh, 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 tests in place, and, and these are audited on a daily basis. Um, it goes across the whole operation so that we can be sure that our guests and our staff um, are as safe as, as possible and uh, we have no influence on, on the results. So it's done by a third party and in case of any deviation we have to take immediate corrective action. If you look at the new revised protocols that have been recently introduced this August, one of them requires that at least the workers be vaccinated. Yes. How is that playing along when it comes to business activities? Well, um, we are fully supportive of, of uh, the vaccine program. Uh, as a matter of fact, many of our team have already been vaccinated uh, and we are eagerly awaiting uh, more vaccines. We have uh, you know, so many of our team uh, ready to take it, so we are fully supportive of that. But are there challenges in relation to this? Have you faced any uh, you know, headwinds in terms of some hesitancy even by workers? How is yes, there's hesitancy. Uh, hesitancy is something which is there across the globe, uh, not only in our market. Um, it's, it's to be expected, I, I suppose, with uh, a, new, a new pandemic such as this. Uh, people are still trying to understand it and, and uh, obviously concerned about their health. Um, from our perspective, what we do is we ov obviously follow the guidelines uh, to the letter and uh, try and educate uh, our team as much as possible um, so that they can make the best informed decision for themselves. So Simon, you've spent the bulk of your years in the hotel industry. I always tell people the hotel industry, it's, it's something, it's a passion. Um, so for instance, in my case, uh, when I was a, a young man deciding which way I wanted to go, um, I had considerations of either going to the industry or in, uh, into piloting in the, in the travel industry. Um, but I'd been exposed to the beauty of magical Kenya as a young boy. I had seen so much of uh, the amazing landscape that Kenya has to offer. Uh, I remember as a young boy going on the, on the old train from Nairobi to Mombasa, uh, going to places like Baringo, Samburu, Western Kenya, and seeing the beauty that Kenya has to offer. Uh, and that, that struck a chord with me, uh, and I decided that I wanted to, to go into the hotel industry. Um, since then, you know, the bug got into me. I've, I've been lucky enough to have worked in... 